to my prayer meeting where trouble quite possibly the Lord is coming to an end. But the commission is also satisfied that what we have also achieved is very valuable in a sense that your participation and your response to to the lesson and what the commission urgently needed has been some of the moments where we captured during the entire proceeding of this commission of inquiry. And as we go into the last few days of this year, I know that there will be a lot of activities that are taking place, but I also remind you that what we need to get through is also very important in so far the inquiry is concerned. I'm very much fully aware of the circumstances and the situation that has driven us to this place. But at the same time, this commission and its your commissioner, I'm passionate about the end result of this inquiry because the reason is that your presence this morning is an indication that it has been supported very well. With that remarks and without further ado, I will now call upon our training council to get us through this morning. Training council. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Commissioner, 46 matters on today's uh, daily diary. Uh, Commissioner, as I had just uh, intimated to the public in the gallery this morning, the purpose of today's hearing is simply to inform the public and those interested persons, particularly those listening, that a formal application for extension has been made to the Office of the Prime Minister and a decision on that application is pending. Uh, Commissioner, you, that applica application has been made noting that the, the term of the inquiry expires this Friday, the 16th of December, 2017. And as such, it is considered that it will be of little practical utility if further hearings are conducted between today and Friday, Commissioner. And it's for those reasons that all matters that are currently listed be now submissions adjourned generally. Now, Commissioner, in anticipation of a decision being made by the Prime Minister to extend the inquiry, and if that is forthcoming, Commissioner, the parties as listed and other interested persons will be formally notified. Uh, Commissioner, it is also noted that the intended uh, Christmas period uh, will be intervening uh, as this El Nino period. We do not expect any hearings if an extension is granted to be uh, conducted um, in January. It is most likely that most matters will be listed or relisted in the first 15th of February. And if anything, it will merely be for motion. So when proper dates can be allocated uh, in light of the roadmap as suggested or as recommended to the Prime Minister as being the basis for the for the extension. Commissioner, with those remarks, I note uh, uh, a number of uh, interested persons are present, uh, including the uh, Council in the case of Chetum Brothers Holdings, NG Limited, and Ballymore, number 39 Limited, 
perhaps Mr. Uh, Rosemont and Uncle Isa Pele, uh, and Mr. Kovel Samizi, we should simply note the presence of uh, other interested persons or commissioners and to adjourn the proceedings generally. That is the uh, position for this morning's vote. Good morning, uh, Mr. Rosemont. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner, Council Assisting. I appear with my learned friend, Mr. D. Wood and Ms. R. Tevloni, T. E. V. L. O. N. E., the Curtin Brothers Holdings NG Limited and Ballymore Number no. 39 Limited, noting that there are summonses directed to both companies returnable today for mention to re announce our appearance. Commission pleases. Thank you. Commissioner. Yes. Could, could I just seek clarification from Council assisting on one point? We're indebted for his indication um, that the matters are adjourned generally and there won't be any, and we note his indication that if an extension is granted, there won't be any hearings in January. We just wanted to clarify with him that uh, there were directions that you, Commissioner, issued on the 22nd of November 2022 for the production of certain documents to Ashurst. Um, some but not all of those documents have been produced. Um, there are other documents that Council Assisting indicated he would provide to Ashurst, not the subject specifically of any direction. I just wish to clarify um, whether Council Assisting is put, still putting together or his staff is still putting together those documents to submit to Mr Wood and Ashurst this week. And I should just indicate that Ashurst and my clients, for the record, continue to reserve all rights in relation to the non-production of documents, including any prejudice that fl may flow in consequence. So I'd be indebted if Council Sissing could just clarify uh, if those documents are still being put together to give to Mr, Mr. Wood this week. Thank you. Uh Council, um, probably the council assisting will respond to that. They give some verification. Thank you. Yes, Commissioner. Um, just to confirm, there are outstanding documents, a number of outstanding documents that have been re requested that have been the subject of direction for production to my learned friends. Now, Commissioner, uh, that is the uh, that is the position. We will endeavour to provide those documents. Uh, on or before the 16th of December in any event. Uh, it, it is an ongoing obligation that we have, Commissioner, and we will uh, do our best to uh, produce those relevant documents as requested and directed by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Council Voritimus, that's the response from the Council assisting. Uh, those documents yeah. Thank will, you. will be uh, produced uh, on or before the 16th of December. That is this Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner, and thank you for clarification by Council Assisting. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, if there's no further matters, Commissioner, we respectfully submit that the uh, proceedings be adjourned generally. Thank you, Council. Due to the Factors that uh, are quite unavoidable at this stage and has been uh, clearly demonstrated by our council assisting. Uh, the commission now will adjourn all the matters generally, thus awaiting the requirements that the commission needed, needed uh, that can uh, give us uh, the way forward in this. But at this juncture, uh, it is imperative that you are aware of the situation and uh, until these uh, requirements are sorted out and are in place, I have now adjourned all the 
hearing generally, and you will be informed thereafter. Thank you, Council. If there are no any other issues to deal with this morning, I see the the room is full of pack. Uh, the landowners, you've been great throughout this hearing, and also Ted and Brothers, you've been also been very supportive in a lot of ways, in getting us on a toes to on a lot of things. And those are the witnesses that may not be present this morning, but they're always with us. During this period, I, I would like to leave my short remarks that you look after yourself uh, during this uh, very peak period. Enjoy your time with your family. And uh, Christmas is about being together with the family. So I attest to the fact that we all need to do that. Make your family be happy so that we look forward to the new year coming. This will be, will be my final remarks this morning and wish you all the best. Thank you. I will now call on the associate to adjourn the hearings generally until you're being informed. Thank you.